Hey guys, so today I thought it would be good to go through Rolt's Law. Uh, Rolt's Law is essentially the principle where there's a difference in the vapor pressure of a solution because of the amount of dissolved particles in it. So on the screen here, we got the actual equation for Rolt's Law, and it simply states that the vapor pressure of a solution is equal to the mole fraction, mole fraction of that solvent. So essentially what percentage of that solution is the solvent itself um, multiplied by the vapor pressure of that solvent. So I guess a good way to understand Rod's law is with these diagrams here. So we know with pure water, the boiling point is about 100 degrees Celsius. And I guess one of the implications of Rolt's law is that uh, because there is a decrease in the vapor pressure uh, when you have a solution, there will also be a change in the boiling point. And typically we see an increase in the boiling point. This is for, well, this example is for water and seawater. We see that with the added salts, the boiling point also increases. So on the first diagram here, we see that there's a lot of H2O molecules close to the surface. And all these individual little molecules have a chance to escape the liquid phase and go into the gas phase. And this causes this vapor pressure of water. But in the solution in which we've added salt, see that there's all these little salt crystals around. There's all these little uh, molecules of uh, sodium or chloride uh, throughout the water itself, that means there's less of a chance for the water molecules to escape the liquid phase and go into the gas phase. And consequently, we get a decrease in the vapor pressure of the water itself. So I guess the big take-home message here is that when we add solutes to a solution, the vapor pressure nearly always decreases. So a sample question might ask you to calculate the resulting vapor pressure uh, when you make a solution. So in this example here, we'll ask what is the resulting vapor pressure when we add 1.5 mole of sugar to 9.5 moles of H2O. And we're told that the vapor pressure at uh, 25 degrees of water is about 23.8 torr. So in order to do this, um, we just use Rolt's equation. So the vapor pressure of that solution, sorry, um, of the solution is equal to the mole fraction of the solvent multiplied by the vapor pressure of the pure solvent. So we can just sub in what we already know. So trying to find the resulting vapor pressure of the solution. We haven't calculated the mole fraction yet, but we do know the vapor pressure of the pure solvent, and that is 23.8 torr. So in order to calculate this um, mole fraction, we just need to simply determine or calculate how much of that resulting solution is water. So we're told that there is 9.5 moles of water in a solution that contains 9.5 moles of water plus that 1.5 moles of sugar. So if we add this into a calculator, uh, 9.5 divided by 11, we'll get 0.86%. So in this resulting solution, 0.86, or oh, sorry, 86% of that will be water. So all we have to do is add this to our calculator and we'll be able to find the answer. And that is approximately, so the vapor pressure of that resulting solution is approximately 20.468 torr. So to just summarize, uh, Rolt's law essentially describes a process where we see a decrease in the vapor pressure of a solution when we add a solute to it. 
And because of this, these liquid particles are less likely to escape the liquid phase and become gas. Thus, we get a decrease in the vapor pressure and typically an increase in the boiling point. If you guys have any questions or you're a little bit confused about some stuff that I've uh, talked about in this video, please feel free to send me a message in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you.